I know. If CJ so cool don't do nothing else in life, you know what he's going to do? He's going to do YouTube. He's going to figure out a way to bring people to him. He's going to figure out a way to to make himself popular and popping. He's going after the whole YouTube community right now. He want people to, everybody start Googling, well, who is CJ so cool? Because most people probably don't even know who he is. But anyway, that's not what we're here to talk about. We're here to pretty much talk about his dog dying. And did you not know he made his dog passing all about Roy? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Now, so he posted this this clip up here or this post about a veterinarian that pretty much a dog had heart failure. I think those dogs are known for that, but I'm not quite sure, so I won't speak on it. But he said, this is the worst day of my life. I know my dog loved his, fam his family, but when they left, it broke his heart. And now my heart is destroyed. Poor Rhino. It's all my fault from hurting royalty now destroyed a whole family without realizing it was bigger than me and my feelings. I'm so, so sorry to everyone affected by my stupid decisions and mistakes. Now I see how dumb I was. Now, we don't know what this is. Like I said, I've been calling this whole thing fake for so long. I have no idea what's fake, what's real. This dude is just... He's a YouTuber. He's doing everything for content. But Royalty obviously posted with a sad face and crying eyes. And she tagged Rhino. The dog passed and he blamed it on Royalty and them leaving and saying the dog was heartbroken. Any way to get sympathy? Y'all listen to him and y'all let me know. Is it just me that's seeing this or y'all seeing this too? Let me know in the comments down below. Bruh, I think my dog had a heat stroke, bruh. Bruh, your air condition was on, bro. Why did... Rhino! Why you not breathing, bro? Rhino! Bro, how you gonna just die, bro? What the f bro? <laughs> I had this dog for so many years, bro. <laughs> right now, please, bro. Please, right now. <laughs> what happened, champagne, bro? I just left, bro. I just freaking left. It's freaking... Bruh, they AC stay on. Why would you... Oh my God, bro. just came out here and just died, bro. He's supposed to live 10 years. It's only been like six years, bro. I'm telling you, I think he was depressed. Remember when I first came back from out of town, they wasn't here. He looked depressed that day. Like, he knew. He could see what's going on. He see everybody left, bro. He depressed, bro. <laughs> Turn the AC down. Maybe it's too cold. And I don't know, like, why they don't be in there, bro. Even Champagne ain't in there right now. Bro, you all I got, bro. <laughs> I just poured a whole thing of water on him. He's dead. It stinks out here, bro. He's dead. Bro, we got to move, bro. 
We gotta move, bro. It's too hot, bro. We got. Let me know. This don't make sense, bro. He littler than him. How is he gonna die, bro? Somebody must have came back here. Fuck, bro. I don't deserve this, bro. I don't care how much I troll, bro. I don't deserve this, bro. I swear to God, bro. I treat my dogs good, bro. We all saw this altercation between Chris and some guys in the mall, and we automatically assumed this caused Queen to go ahead and remove her son from the situation altogether from his dad. And everybody was like, well, he was put in that awkward situation and things like that. But what we have realized is it led up to several things as she spoke about today. But Chris started all off. He was like, you break somebody hard, that's one thing. But trying to take their child away and give them a limited amount of time for one month, the whole year, is dead wrong. Shake my head. It's fathers who don't want to be in their child's life at all i guess that's what i get so it was like okay dang so this situation was the last draw but unfortunately no that was not the last draw they actually have been going to court everybody spoke about that a while back they was like oh what's going on but the wow wow all this stuff but they went to court and it seems as if yesterday or today was everything became final the final order was put in place today so that was actually the reason for chris tweet on um yesterday because that was an arrangement that was made. So Queen came back to pretty much defend herself. She was like, Cap, he gets to see his son at least a week out of each month. Not just one month, each month. He's mad he only gets one month out of the summer. Based on the situation CJ has been put in while in his father's care and the evidence I have in my files, I've been very lenient. So let's tread lightly i'm protecting my son hate when people play victim we do know that chris is known to play victim and to be honest he's in play is playing victim she probably seen something that happened so many different times dealing with her son it, it could be wrong and we know that it has its wrong points but i mean again she's probably trying to protect her son we think well she don't need to protect her son against his dad but Chris has been in some awkward situations. But that's just my brief opinion. Not going to speak too much on it. Then she came back and said, also, everyone with their two cents can save it. Because y'all be speaking on only what y'all have seen, not knowing there's more. A part of being good parents leading by a good example. She's basically saying this is not her first time seeing what Chris has done. She's probably saying this is many things Chris has done. She's seen it. She's not going to play with him and she's not going to keep doing the same thing. I don't nec I wouldn't necessarily say it's right, but you know, at the end of the day, she doing what she think is best for her child. He can look at it as her trying to hurt him, and in some cases it is. We don't know what y'all think in the comments. Let me know. But she also um said a person makes bad decisions, not thinking karma will catch up with them, it scares me. And then she said a part of being a parent is also leading by example. I think people forget that. And she said the bare minimum is not enough. Y'all tell me what y'all think Queen is really talking about. What is she alluding to? Is she alluding to money, situations, time? Because we see a lot of times he spends with his son, but we see a lot of things he does. Again, we can't really speak on it because we can only speak on what's shown to us. Y'all let me know about this situation in the comments down below. Let me know how how ugly is this going to get. Is, is Chris going to finally be quiet or is he going to just turn up? Let me know in the comments.